Hi, my beautiful Sagittarius, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. All right, so we're going to do you versus them. We are going to have, this is screaming you. So usually I kind of have the decks. This would be you, this would be your person. Sometimes it uh, changes, it really depends, take it how it resonates, but this one's screaming you. So we're going to start with this as you. This side's going to be your person. All right, so if you're new, welcome. And if you are returning, I am so glad to have you. Everything you guys need is in the description box below. The only thing that I am going to say is that um, all of the readings are $14 off to the end of February. So as February is ending, if you haven't had a chance, um, feel free to um, take a look at the uh, sales. All right. So Sagittarius, how does your person feel towards you? What is going on between you and your person? Sagis. Okay, let's see. Sagittarius. So I am doing an extended for you guys. Okay. Um, I had to see which ones because I do this little uh, meditation and then I pull to see who are the signs that Spirit wants me to do for the um, extended and this time you guys are chosen so the extended will be in the description box below I'm also going to do um, a little sneak peek at the end of this reading and your guys' extended for this month is going to be an intimate reading so we're going to get um, into the intimacy between you and your person see all the things that you're not able to see the things that you could do to improve intimacy and all that sort of stuff so on your side here, we have the strength, and I see the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. First thing that's coming out here, we have the strength to do whatever it takes. We can accomplish whatever it takes to make this relationship work. For some of you, you're talking to somebody long distance. Um, some of you guys, I'm hearing that somebody needs convincing, whether it's you or them, but you don't need to be convinced because at the end of the day, you two, whatever um, pulls you apart, whatever, you know, arguments, fights, um you know, issues are in the way, even if it's distance, you guys have this infinite energy surrounding you where you guys are going to actually be able to get through these things. And it's going to make it so that even if it's distance, especially if it's distance, it's going to make it so that you guys are going to get through all of the hard things first. And then by the time you guys come together and everything's a lot easier, you guys will have already gotten to experience every single side of one another and have still decided that you love each other and that that's who you want to be with. That's who you want to build your future with. So you're with somebody who, you know, I also feel there's this energy where this person makes you feel very strong. This person makes you feel very independent. And for others of you, it's you may have this energy where you're working on having this person be able to open up more and be able to like depend on you be vulnerable around you so let's see what your person is thinking and i just saw strength and i just saw the sun which is strong leo energy so for some of you you're dealing with a leo let's see show me the energy of the person that's on sagittarius mine show me the energy of the per oh okay i'm gonna put this back actually because i'm not taking three Show me the energy on the person that is on Saj's mind. If you guys are wanting more content, feel free to follow me on Instagram or... I don't know why those are... Actually, there's one more that's flipped the wrong way. If you guys want more content, feel free to follow me on Instagram or TikTok. I am Arcana Priestess on both. And between the two of them, there will always be a daily message. Oh, maybe it flipped on its own. All right, so let's see... Kind of like that little confusing moment that I just had with the cards. I even, yeah. Um, it's kind of like telling me that you may have somebody that's uh, overthinking a little bit, has a little bit of anxiety related to this connection. Every time you do have an argument with this person, they may act like they don't care, but they actually care a little bit too much and they can't really handle the feelings that they get when things aren't going right with you. So they kind of shut down and that's not something that this person has opened up to you about. Um, it's not something that this person even likes to think about or acknowledge. They kind of find it like a weakness. The king of pentacles here. And at the bottom of the deck here, we have the hierophant. So you're definitely, some of you are dealing with the Taurus here, but 
you're dealing with somebody that feels very, you know, sure about this connection. You're both just as sure. This is a very mutual energy that the two of you guys share with one another here. Uh, strength and the Hierophant, definitely the energy to get through whatever you need to get through, especially if this is a marriage that has been long term and you may be having a rocky side right now. Um, you guys can handle any storms that come your way here with the King of Pentacles here. I do feel like whatever level you're on with this individual, this person is really on their um, their way to, you know, taking things to the next level with you, wanting to invest more in this relationship. Some of you guys, this involves purchasing a home. I do feel like you're definitely dealing with somebody who is saving money to purchase a home or is in, um, interested in investing in a home with you. So very very strong emotions on this person's side i think that you're dealing with somebody here who has also decided that you are the one for them so whatever it is that some of you is really just who you are some of you are actually dealing with somebody who you know had to take who took a long time to come around it's like you were the one who knew this side knew instantly and this side kind of like had to take their time um, you know, do a couple of tests, really pull back, push forward, pull back, push forward. And now finally, this is that energy where it's like, okay, I'm ready to, you know, send my life away to this person. I'm ready to tie the knot with this individual here. You have somebody making a huge commitment here. Very interesting. And then, okay, we're not going to go there, but uh, let's see what else we can get. Okay. So I feel like I didn't show you guys the cards. I changed the setting so I could. Um, maybe I'll talk while holding them, but this is a strength on your side. This is the Three of Pentacles. And we have the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. All right. Show me what we need to see on Saj's side. Princess of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Ooh, Princess of Wands and the Four of Pentacles here. So I do feel there is this energy where some of you, you want to send your person a message or a message or possibly with the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, possibly if not a message, there could be a truth here where you're wanting to communicate to this individual. I do feel strongly if you're wanting to ask this person to take things to the next level, but you would prefer to have them ask you. I think that you should wait because I am hearing that you're going to get what you want. Some of you guys, you may have to wait, set, wait, <laughs> wait up to seven weeks because I did see a big seven in my head, but for others of you, this could be seven days. Um, but absolutely, I see this person coming towards you with that offer that it is that you are wanting. So some of you guys just need to hold back because it's going to come and it'll feel a lot better if you didn't ask because then you'll feel like maybe they're just giving it to you or, you know, saying yes because you're asking or whatever the case may be. It's always better if it just genuinely comes from, you know, who you're wanting it to come from at the time where it's just meant to be. So some of you guys, you may need to hold back because you have a beautiful offer coming here. Um, I do feel like others of you, you're dealing with somebody that you feel very passionate towards and, you know, you're in this energy where you may be kind of like starting to fall in love or you just feel so good and, you know, that just beautiful, youthful energy that you feel when you're falling in love with somebody or when you're truly getting to know somebody or when things are going really good with someone. And I feel like you are trying to stay realistic. So you guys are trying to stay realistic and you're trying to not let yourself just kind of completely be taken over by a certain individual in your life here and i do feel there's a sense where you need to know that it's just okay you are being guided to do what you feel the need to do feel exactly how you feel and and speak the, the things that you need to speak you don't have to hold um hold back your your true feelings when it comes to this person uh the only thing i would suggest you know holding back is asking to get to a next level because it is already on the way um you both have the same mindset i just think that you both haven't um spoken to each other about the fact that you both are on the same page and in the same um on the same level i think that this is somebody who's been thinking about that for a very long time and now that their thoughts their feelings and all of that matches up and they're finally able to take action they may even have something really nice planned out like a very nice way of um offering this to you so let's see 
The energy that I feel also, like just in general with this reading, is just very calm. It's very, you know, Wheel of Fortune energy where it's it's just um, everything is happening as it should be. But I also sense the hangman as soon as I said Wheel of Fortune. So for some of you, patience is definitely going to be key. Um, this person might have been coming towards you to teach you to be a little less impulsive and a little bit more patient for some of you as well. All right, so let's see. The Five of Swords on your person's side. And the star, which is coming out in reverse. So I also see the four of pentacles in reverse here. And what I'm seeing, sensing, because you have it upright and your person has it um, reversed. I'm kind of getting... One of the main reasons as to why this person was holding back is because they didn't want you to... And honestly, you can't take this personally. Because usually when people are afraid of certain things, it's because it's happened to them in their past, right? If you're definitely dealing with somebody that thought you were a little bit too good to be true, they definitely thought that you seemed very perfect. And how can somebody be a certain way? Just be a certain way. I was going to say for too long, but pretty much what I meant by that was they're kind of like trying to test you to see like, are you truly like this? Or after three weeks, three months, especially six months, two years, are you going to change up? Are you going to switch up, right? This person wants to, for some of you, actually, you're dealing with somebody who was previously married. Um, whatever the case is, this is somebody who fell madly in love with somebody from their past and got the rug pulled completely um, out from under them. So they ended up um, either divorcing or breaking up with somebody who completely turned into the opposite of what they thought they were getting into, of who they got into a relationship with. And that was because that person finally took off their mask. So this person really did feel that, that it was necessary to test you. But I do feel like there is this energy where they took it too far. For some of you, this is what you're currently dealing with. But it's somebody that's with the five of swords. It's almost like they're self-sabotaging it. Um, they might have even come off as very selfish, very uh, self-centered. Um, somebody who was very focused on themselves. I do feel like you're, you were definitely dealing with somebody who was, or you are dealing with somebody who's very self-focused, very focused on their career. You know, they have certain things that matter to them and just because they're falling in love or just because they're dating somebody does not necessarily mean that they're going to, um, you know, drop certain things. It's almost, this is definitely the type of person where you have to prove your worth too. And I feel like we should all be like that, right? You can't just assume somebody's worth this, this, and this without fully, truly getting to know them. So I do feel like on this side, it was more like, I know when I see what's for me is for me. And as soon as I see that, I'm going to go for it. That's this side. And this side is like, okay, you look like you're you're for me. You seem like you're for me. But how many people in the past have seemed like that? And where did that path lead me? It's like this person is finally in that um, year where they're learning the lessons. And they're not, like, they're really taking a look as to, as to how they respond and how they react to all these certain things that go on in their life so that they don't make the same mistakes because this person probably realized okay I keep attracting the same things I keep having relationships and the same way so finally when you come along this person is at that point in their life where they're like okay no we're gonna do things the complete opposite as how as how we were doing them before and maybe this way they'll actually work out and your person was actually right and if they did this a long time ago maybe you would have met them a long time ago but everything happens for a reason and you're meeting them now which means here and now is exactly when the two of you guys are supposed to be together so you have somebody who is literally dropping their act, right? They are finally being able to show you exactly who they are, exactly how they truly feel. They're not going to be um, like dimming down the feelings that they have. You've passed the tests. They've come to that conclusion where regardless of what happens, you can never know 1000% if you're going to get hurt or not, but they realize that you are worth that risk and they're ready to go all in with you. So whoever, this person that was holding back is no longer holding back. And it's going to be very, very much worth the wait with what they're coming towards you with. All right. Let's see. I'm 
something so let me just pull one more card for each so another thing you guys i'm just gonna go with the flow some people and me in the past i would be like okay let's keep it under 20 minutes let's just do it however long it needs to be let's keep it under 15 minutes now i'm not gonna do that because it's a reading and when it's done it's gonna be done so sometimes people are gonna get an hour of reading sometimes people are going to get a 15 minute reading sometimes you're going to get a 30 minute reading it really depends on the energies that flow however i will say if there are all the signs getting an hour reading and all of your readings are 15 minutes i will absolutely make one where i do a couple different spreads and okay so we're just gonna yeah we're just gonna go with it so let's see all right any last messages? Mm, I do feel I need to pull it. Okay, so Princess of Cups, Queen of Swords. Princess of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So I do feel like this is like a you know you kind of like fighting out your inner child and trying to use your you're really in this energy where you're trying to use your head more than your heart you're trying to be a little less impulsive and um be a little bit more analytical when it comes to the way that you communicate with this individual here so i do feel like um there's a sense where you you may be holding back a little bit you may be pulling back until you find that your energy is matched and in doing so you're going to get your energy matched a lot quicker. Um, you know, you know what you want and, and you're going to get it. You're absolutely going to get it. And I do feel like you know that you're going to get it. But I do feel like you are kind of like, um, what's the word? Like analyzing, you know, the situation a little bit more. And because you're doing that, you're kind of like taking a step back and almost looking at it through the lens of how another person who's not as attached to the situation would look at it and I think that by doing so you're actually going to learn exactly what it is that you need to do to get what it is that you want with this individual here but you're really close to getting everything that you want I just feel like there's some things that uh, need to be worked out and I do feel like these are more things within yourself as well I do sense that you're going to be very shocked some of you you're going to be um, given a necklace it could even be a wallet a belt but there is some sort of physical gift that you are going to be receiving from this individual here so like i said they're not just going to come in and give you this offer that you've been waiting for they're going to do it in a way where they're going to be planning something so i do sense this could be a home cooked dinner i'm seeing some red wine and i'm seeing a gift and i think that this gift like i just see you going like this is something that you're going to be surprised and i feel like there's this energy where um, a lot of people have purchased gifts for you, but they all got them wrong and you appreciated the thought. Absolutely. But the fact that this person could pick a gift that you loved so much, like I'm talking even Christmases, nobody's ever really gotten your gift, right? So it really is another reassurance. Um, maybe your love language is giving gifts, but e either way, there's something about this gift that just makes you a little bit more reassured that this person is the one for you. Um, it could also have to do with something that you mentioned to them like a long time ago and, and you're just like how did you remember that like you know what i mean like oh i always wanted this belt or you know what i mean i always wanted this necklace i always wanted to have something from this brand and it was just something small that you said like maybe on the first date or something but this is somebody who takes note of every little thing um that you're dealing with so i do feel like they have something that's going to make you very very surprised um let's see any last messages from the person on Sagittarius' mind? Any last messages? The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords here. I feel like I should pull another one because I got like three on that side. All right, any last messages? So, you know, the best thing is that this person is, you know, finally... <sighs> interesting you guys are like honestly opposites here because you are needing to turn off your mind and listen to or sorry you're needing to turn off your intuition and listen to your mind this person is needing to turn off their mind and listen to their intuition and it looks like at the same time you're both doing so 
And then we have the Seven of Pentacles here. So the Seven of Pentacles with the Two of Swords. So this person is making the decision to push forward here, making the decision to take things to the next level here. I do feel like they're going to be very excited about coming towards you with this beautiful offer. This is somebody that seriously wants to invest so much with you, but that they do want to give the world. So I do feel like in the past, some of their self-sabotaging ways were because I'm not ready. I'm not ready. They didn't feel like they were ready, right? Because at one point they were that ace of pentacles, but it looks like now they are that king of pentacles. So I do feel like this person is a lot more financially stable, or even if they're not um, actually financially stable, they have this debt or this, um, ah, they've removed a doubt. They have this unwavering not like knowledge that they are going to become successful, that they are going to be able to give you everything that you need and more, and that they're going to be able to give themselves and their family everything that they need and more. So any doubts, any insecurities that this person had, they've completely conquered these. And I honestly feel like you've helped push this person to be able to do that without even knowing. I think that you have no, you're about to find out. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to ruin it. Um, but what's to come is going to be very beautiful. So for your extended, we're going to go into your intimate reading and we're going to go into there right now. I'm going to show you guys a little preview. And then if you want to purchase, it'll be in the description box below. Thank you so much for sitting through this reading. And if you feel the need to subscribe, that would be very greatly appreciated. Um, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok if you guys want to see more content. And what else was there? I think there was another message, but I honestly cannot remember. Hmm. I just want to give myself a second to see. No. Okay. Well, I love you guys so much. And uh, make sure you like, share, comment if you want to be part of the bonus readings. I love you guys so much. Again, take care. I don't even know what this position is, but this is how somebody wants to have you. Like, really see, like, you're pulling this person on top of you, or they're kind of, like, pushing you down onto the bed. You're locking eyes with one another, and...